welcome back to another tutorial. Now I know it's been a while since I've actually done one of these and uh, to make up for all of that we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Neptune today, uh, build 5111. Uh, now if you remember uh, a while ago uh, I did a, a few videos on this but I never did an actual tutorial and that's what we're going to be, uh, be taking a look at today is actually how to install this uh, in v VMware Player, VMware Workstation, uh, or pretty much any other virtual machine software uh, that you have. Now, uh, the first thing you're probably going to notice is, um, unlike pretty much all of my other tutorials, um, we haven't uh, started at the uh, VMware home screen. We're actually in a uh, Windows 2000 virtual machine right now. And the reason for that is because um, Neptune is an actual upgrade for Windows 2000. Uh, so we actually have to have a version of Windows 2000 installed uh, for um, you to be able to install Neptune. Uh, so along with the uh, actual Microsoft Neptune uh, link, I'm also going to have a link to a Windows 2000 ISO file, as well as uh, if you're using VMware uh, Player Workstation or Fusion, uh, I'm going to have a link to a um, uh, Windows 2000 hard drive, uh, so you don't have to go through the uh, entire um, install process. Once you have a, a Windows 2000 virtual machine, uh, you just want to uh, start it up and you want to insert the Neptune ISO image that I will also have that link down below. And uh, a little history on Microsoft Neptune, it was released on December 27th, 1999 and it was the first in pretty much the development of Windows XP. This was the, the uh, first build um, to actually uh, start start development of Windows XP because this was the uh, first consumer version of Windows to be based on Windows NT and later uh, Microsoft merged um, Neptune with another project that they called Odyssey at the time and they formed Whistler which I've done a lot of videos on uh, many Whistler builds and then after that uh, Windows XP was released uh, after uh, Whistler went through um, uh, beta testing and all that uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at Microsoft Neptune build 5.1.1.1 and uh, yeah once you have the uh, CD inserted into the uh, virtual drive or if you're on a, a real PC into the real um, uh, you know drive uh, you just want to uh, open up my computer and you want to uh, double click on Neptune underscore 5.1.1.1 and it's going to say that the CD-ROM contains a newer version of Windows than the one you are presently using. Would you like to install Neptune? You're going to want to select Yes. And it's going to bring up a uh, setup wizard. You're just going to click on Next. And you're going to want to accept the agreement. And now you're going to enter the 25-character uh, product key, which I will also have uh, down below in the video description. All right, now once you have entered the product key, you're going to uh, be presented with this screen, and you can uh, change any of these options if you want to. For example, you can uh, go into the language options and change that, uh, go into advanced options and uh, change uh, the location of the files. But uh, I would recommend not messing with this uh, unless you want to change like the name of the... Uh, like a Windows installation folder or if you want to uh, copy all the setup files uh, from the C to the hard drive um, but uh, I would just leave this all as a default and just click on next and now it's going to begin copying files and you're going to click on finish to restart your computer uh, and now it's going to uh, restart and you are going to be uh, presented with the operating system uh, selection screen and you're just, want, you're just going to want to select uh, Neptune setup and press enter and now you're going to go to a uh, probably pretty familiar Windows XP style installer uh, now this is where it's going to be um, you know just uh, very similar to uh, pretty much any other build of uh, Windows Whistler XP or Windows 2000 because uh, it's you know pretty much like the same whole uh, setup procedure and right now setup is starting Neptune at the bottom there so we'll just wait for that and now you're going to be presented with a setup notification now this is pretty much telling you you're about to install an evaluation version of Neptune and that's pretty much uh, what you're doing so uh, you just uh, pretty much want to press enter here and uh, it's going to say a welcome to setup this portion of the setup prepares Microsoft Neptune to run on your computer you're just going to want to press enter here and it's going to search for previous versions of Microsoft the Windows now it's going to find uh, Windows 2000 
uh, on the uh, C NTFS uh, partition here. What we have to do is we have to press enter to install it uh, on the Windows 2000 partition. Then you want to press C uh, to continue set up using this partition. And now it's going to say caution a WinNT folder already exists that may contain Windows installation. If you continue the existing Windows installation will be overwritten. Now if you have anything uh, that is valuable in this Windows 2000 uh, you know PC or if it's a virtual machine or whatever you want to make sure that you're not uh, worried about it at all I mean in most virtual machines are that way so anyway once you've confirmed that uh, you're just going to want to press L and now it's going to uh, start examining the disks and this could take several minutes but it seems it's already done uh, now it's going to be uh, start deleting the existing Windows installation and uh, it's going to start copying files to the Neptune installation folders now this could take several minutes, but again, we're in a virtual machine, so it uh, probably won't take that long. All right, now it's going to uh, begin initializing the configuration, and you're just going to want to press enter to restart the computer. And now we are going to be uh, starting up into the rest of the setup menu. You can see uh, this um, start screen here looks very similar to the uh, Windows 2000 start screen, Microsoft Neptune under construction. And uh, pretty much you're going to notice a lot of things that look similar uh, to Windows 2000 uh, in this build because it's pretty much uh, Windows 2000 just with like a few new added features um, but the overall theme uh, has remained the same. And we are here at the uh, Neptune setup installation uh, progress here. Now this is going to be exactly the same as the Windows 2000 uh, installation because uh, I have used a uh, Windows 2000 installation before and it looks very similar to this. Uh, the only thing that uh, has changed is uh, all the logos and the uh, uh, setup screen background. It says uh, Microsoft Neptune uh, instead of Windows 2000. Uh, and you will also notice that uh, comments button on, on all of the windows and that is because this was a uh, development build. So we're just going to let this finish up here, and it should um, present us with this screen. We're just going to click on Next to uh, continue with setup. And now it's going to uh, d detect and install devices such as our keyboard and mouse. Now this could take several minutes, but again, we are in a virtual machine, so uh, that just depends if you're using a virtual machine or a uh, physical computer. All right, and we have now been presented uh, with the regional settings, and uh, you can change these if you want, uh, but they are all uh, correct for me, so I'm just going to click on Next. Uh, and now uh, you can type in your name as well as your organization. I'm just going to type in MJD for the name, and I'm going to leave the organization blank. Uh, and just click on Next. And now you have the option uh, to name your computer. I'm just going to call it Neptune. Uh, again, you can name it uh, anything that you want and just click on next and uh, here you have the option of uh, changing the date and time and the time zone settings uh, I'm just going to leave these as the default and now it's going to install networking components and now it is going to begin uh, installing the rest of the components now this could take uh, several minutes uh, so I'm just going to uh, pause the video here and I will come back uh, once uh, it has finished all right, uh, it has finished doing that. Now it's going to uh, just perform its uh, final tasks here. And again, uh, this could take uh, a few minutes, but it has uh, already finished the first step for me. Um, and again, uh, I will just pause the video here and I will come back uh, once it has finished. Okay, and now we are uh, presented uh, with this error message here, and it's uh, pretty much saying that this is this is an evaluation copy of, of Neptune. Verify that your computer's date and time settings are correct. Now, if you remember at the start of the video, uh, unlike uh, pretty much all the other uh, tutorials that, that I've done on these old Windows builds, we never set the date back uh, to 1999, uh, which would allow this to run properly. And the reason for that is is because uh, I know for um, some people that are using uh, Microsoft Virtual PC and VirtualBox, uh, I've heard there's some issues with that going on. So I'm just decided to do it here because um, it will allow you at this point uh, to change the date back. So uh, all you have to do is just uh, click on OK. And then it will come up uh, with a date and time properties. And you just want to change the date to 1999. Let's go back here. I guess we got to go all the way back to 1999. 
and I would set the date to uh, December and I'm going to go 27 because that was the uh, date that this was released. Uh, so then you just want to click on OK and now it's going to save settings and remove any temporary files and now you just want to click on finish and it's going to restart the virtual machine. Alright and uh, now Windows is starting up and now it is loading your personal settings. And uh, as we see at the bottom here we have Windows Neptune evaluation copy build 5111 um, now uh, once the desktop decides to load up here you know that would be uh, pretty nice but um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to get access to uh, one of the more interesting features of Windows Neptune and that is the activity centers now if you remember um, I did uh, a few videos on uh, the Neptune activity centers and uh, we pretty much just uh, you know went in and actually took a look at them and uh, actually how they uh, worked. Uh, now these activity centers were never uh, brought over to Windows XP um, but they are still in Windows Neptune and you actually have to copy them over from the installation CD. So I'm, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to do that. So before we actually do that uh, I just wanted to mention uh, about this new feature here which is the Windows Identity features. Now this was another feature that wasn't um, uh, finished yet at the time of Neptune, but it was uh, actually brought into Windows XP as user accounts. And this is uh, your option to uh, enter the name of the first person using this computer. So I'm just going to type in MJD here. You can, of course, type in anything if you want. And it says this is a pre release Microsoft utility. And you're going to want to click on OK. And now we're going to have to restart the computer once again uh, for those changes to take effect. And that's pretty much. Uh, going to uh, allow uh, your Windows identity to work with things like the welcome screen uh, and other options like that. So uh, we're going to allow the virtual machine to restart and then we will be uh, taking a look at the Neptune activity centers. Alright guys, uh, for some strange reason I was not able to uh, install VMware tools which is uh, pretty much going to allow you to change the uh, guest resolution. Uh, and in my uh, other two Neptune videos, I was able to do that, so I'm not really sure why, uh, but you might be able to do it uh, if you're installing it uh, in uh, something like VirtualBox or Virtual PC, uh, or yours might just work in VMware. I'm not really sure my, why mine isn't. Um, it's just giving me a bunch of errors. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to get access to the Activity Centers, which was a beta feature uh, at this time. So all you have to do is have the uh, Neptune CD in the drive, and uh, if you, like, so I've just uh, inserted mine here, and um, if like any um, you know messages comes up, uh, now this is saying that uh, the, you know the, the CD-ROM contains like a newer version of Windows, and we just installed Neptune, so I would just say no to this, um, and then you want to click on exit here. Then what you want to do is want to go to start and run. And you want to type in reg svr32 d colon slash i386 uh, dash accore dot dll and then press ok and it's going to say dll register server in d colon slash i386 colon slash accore dot dll succeeded now basically what it just did is first of all it uh, copied the uh, activity centers files over uh, to the C drive and it also um, uh, did, did a few things in the uh, actual Windows registry uh, to allow those things to work. So now if you go to my computer and if you go to C, uh, I think it's in program files, you want to click on show files and I believe it's going to be under, let's see here accessories you know what it's under um it's c win and t show files and then activity this is the folder that contains all of the uh, activity center stuff now uh, if you want to see a full in-depth video of everything that uh, is covered in this folder i will have a link down below to a video that i did uh, a while ago uh, just talking about the uh, microsoft neptune activity centers and it's in full HD because I was able to get the um, 
uh, VMware more tools working which I wasn't able to this time um, but you can just you know uh, browse through here and view all these files now it's not uh, finished so some of them aren't going to work but you can see uh, you know we can open up these files and this is how uh, it would look uh, of course much better than this because we're running this at like a 640 by 480 resolution which isn't the best and if you want to get to the uh, main interface you want to uh, right click on any end of the desktop to go to active desktop new desktop item and for the location you want to click browse go to c1nt go to activity start start page and start right here you want to click open and ok and now it's going to be uh, opened up over here as an uh, active desktop icon and you can uh, do this such as uh, you know snapping it to the side and uh, again if you want to see the full video on uh, the activity centers I'll have that link down below uh, so guys that is pretty much going to wrap it up for Microsoft Windows Neptune build 5111 uh, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these uh, tutorials but uh, if you have any uh, suggestions of any kind of what tutorials you want to see whether it's like a Windows beta or a Linux distribution or whatever be sure to leave them in the comments down below because I kinda just pick these builds at random and uh, it would you know kinda help if I could actually uh, you know do something that you guys actually want me to do um, but anyway guys uh, thank you so much for watching uh, and if you enjoyed the video definitely be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.